I'm really excited for today's project. We're going to be installing these white line front control arm bushings. They've got a little bit of added offset. Should give me some extra caster, which when you turn into those turns real hard, will cause the tire to lay over just slightly, give you a little bit more camber, and help those tires dig in. Also, this bushing material is a lot more durable than the stock ones, and as you'll see, I tore those stock ones up, so these should really help me out. I picked these up at Flatirons Tuning here locally in Colorado. Uh, hit those guys up, they're super helpful. There's a ton of different style of these that I didn't even know about, and they give you different offsets, different materials, and uh, they'll help you uh, get what's right for your application. Now let's get these installed. All right, here we are under the car. Check out these stock control arm bushings. As you can see, this thing is toast. This lip of the bushing completely came off. It was attached in there between this bracket and this flange on the arm, and it completely peeled off. All right, who knows how long these bolts have been in here. So we're gonna use a little WD-40 and uh, hopefully make this a little bit easier. All right, the big problem I'm having with this installation and getting this removed is this nut here is tucked up in here. Uh, it's 22 millimeter, and I don't have a 22 millimeter wrench. And even if I did, it's not really long enough to get enough leverage on it. I really need to get a really long breaker bar on there. And uh, so what I'm going to try doing here is I'm going to remove these two guys first and uh, see if we can get access to it. All right, we've got our huge breaker bar here with our 19 millimeter socket. Let's see if we can break these things loose. These things are really on there. So it looks like that still won't come down quite far enough to get a full-size socket on there. So we are going to go ahead and get this front one loose here and drop it down and see what we can do. I had to put this block of wood in here to keep it from rotating so that I can push down on this breaker bar and keep it from torquing on this uh, lower ball joint over here. Hopefully uh, this will let it come loose. Yep, there you go. All right, there you go. Oh yeah. Look at this. This whole bushing is completely torn apart. It's cracked all the way around. This thing was barely hanging on. All right, now we just gotta make sure this is nice and clean. Now these actually look good, which makes sense. Those bushings are fairly snug on there. There's a little dirt on the end here uh, where the dirt could get in next to those end bushings. And so we'll get this cleaned up. Put a little lube on it and we'll be ready to start putting stuff back together. And this kit came with this high performance bushing lubricant and uh, it says make sure to get all the surfaces so we're going to get the shaft really nice, uh, this mating surface here and then we'll also put some on our bushing itself. Alright so I found out that this front bushing uh, you have to have this bolt in before you put the rear bushing on because with that offset rear bushing it tilts this down and you can't get that front bolt back in. So I've put that in and then I also found out once you slide the bushing on it hits your transmission cross member and uh, so I've got this loosened up so I think I should be able to move it out of the way uh, just enough to slip the bushing by. Uh, if not we might have to completely remove that. So let's give it a try. There you go. That's uh, on there. I'll get the cross member bolted back in, uh, get my nut on, and uh, the frame bolts as well. Now we've got the nut, or the chamfered washer. Make sure you go that chamfered side in. And our new nylon nut here. It's a 24 millimeter. All right, we've got all this installed. This front bolt is torqued down tight, but these rear bolts and this nut are just contacting enough to hold this snug. Uh, they're not tight at all, and you're supposed to leave them loose so that you can lower the car down onto the wheels, push up and down on the suspension, let this find center, 
and then come under here and torque these bolts in this nut. The instructions don't say anything uh, about jacking it back up to torque the nut, so I'm assuming the weight has to be on the wheels. And since I don't have a lift that can hold the wheels up, I'm going to actually put the tires back on, put a car ramp underneath the tire, lower it down, and that'll allow me to still crawl under here and get these guys torqued up. We've got the wheels on, they're sitting on the ramps, so let's push on the suspension and uh, see if these things move at all, and then we can tighten them down. Now that the car's all settled, we're going to use our huge torque wrench, and we're going to get these two bolts up to 184 foot-pounds. Now we just need to tighten this 24 millimeter bolt and just like taking it off the body is right here so I can't get a socket on here can't get a torque wrench you really need one of those opened end wrenches that have the squares on the end that'll accept a ratchet and then you get a torque wrench on it that way uh, next best thing would be a 24 millimeter wrench to crank down on this which I also don't have so we're going old school doing the crescent wrench and even with a big crescent wrench like this, uh, 140 foot-pounds is really tight. So I can pretty much just crank down on this and we'll be good to go. And that should do it. Alright, we're out just cruising around the neighborhood, doing a little turning. All the bolts are tight. We just want to make sure everything's settled in and we'll go back and re-torque them. Uh, we're not out hauling ass just yet. Uh, we haven't done an alignment or anything on the car, and we want to get that done before we uh, really go fast. Alright, we're back from the test drive. We did some hard braking, hard acceleration, swerved back and forth, hit some of the bumps in the road. So hopefully these things are nice and settled. Torque them down one more time, and we'll be ready for an alignment. And I'll show you how to do a string alignment on one of the next episodes. Hopefully that helped. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more projects. As you can see, I need a hood, and next we'll be installing a lightweight aluminum hood. Show you how to put hood pins in, maybe make some custom modifications, and we'll be ready to race. See you out there.